about the phylogenomics of uh, psychedelic based on untreated enrichment data. And this study is performed by Christopher Dietrich, Dimitri Dimitri, Yaling Zhang, and me. So I know many of you are very, very familiar with the poppers, but uh, first I would like to briefly introduce this group. Uh, leaf hoppers are a group of uh, sap sucking insects belonging to ha the hemipterine family Cicadidae. And some species of this group are significant uh, agricultural pests, and some of them are vectors of plant viruses and phytoplasmas. So far, there are 23,000 species uh, known from this group, making it as one of the 10 largest uh, insect families. And these species are placed in 19 extinct subfamilies. However, the phylogenetic relationships among subfamilies remain largely unresolved. So here are uh, two of the most comprehensive studies of the phylogenomics of uh, member coelia. On the left, you can see this is a result from Dietrich et al. 2017. So this study, uh, to some extent, this study has resolved the, the relationships among some of the leafhopper fam uh, subfamilies. However, uh, if you can see here, there are some uh, like very short internal uh, branches and with low branch support. And on the right, this is the study from Hu et al. 2023. They used transcriptome data to reconstruct the phylogeny. And as in Dietrich's study, the branch support for deeper level of phylogeny are usually very low, and the relationships are unstable among different analysis methods. So our aim is trying to resolve the relationships among uh, for most uh, leafhopper subfamilies by adding uh, more taxon samples and use more molecular data. So here I summarize the the uh, taxon samples and data used by these three studies. So in our study, we have representatives of all the uh, five families and uh, 31 subfamilies of member coelia, and we have all the uh, we have representatives for all the subfamilies of Cicadidae. For types, we have uh, 220 types of the 228 uh, known types of leaf offers. And compared to the other uh, two studies, uh, the number increased about like uh, one third to a uh, half. For genera and species, we have over 200 uh, genera and species of leaf offers. So it's about like twice about uh, twice uh, than the other two studies. The data we are using is still under hybrid enrichment data, but. We add about 300 model sites compared to the Dietrich study. So, as I mentioned, the method we are using is called entered hybrid enrichment sequencing. This is a kind of uh, high super sequencing, like target sequencing. We use probes to target uh, our interested uh, region. The probe we are using is a modification of uh, Dietrich's study, and we make it specific for hoppers and leaf hoppers. And uh, we have already used this prop kit to reconstruct the phylogeny of Delta Safalini in 2022, and we got very good results. So this prop uh, kit can target 685 loci uh, belonging to 429 genes. It can cover about 155 uh, kilobases. So, and I will skip the part of the ocelot uh, identification. We have detailed uh, descrip uh, descriptions of the method in our 2002 paper. For the phylogenetic analysis, we use two methods. One is the maximum likelihood analysis, and we use three data sets. Two are the concatenated nucleotide data sets, and uh, either include the full contemplation or exclude the third contemplation. And the third one is a concatenated amino acid data set. So for coalescent analysis, uh, we have uh, different data sets and different settings. Uh, because of most of the genes we are using are very short, so we only use the nucleotide data sets. And we have uh, gene alignment 
for uh, for 427 genes, either by including or excluding the third uh, codon positions. And for statics, we first try to like co collapse the branches with uh, bootstrap support lower than 10%. Then we try to only use the gene trees with uh, relatively high average bootstrap support. And then we, we tried the most recent published method of uh, weighted astro. And we set the minimum bootstrap support setting as 10% or 20% or 30%. Our results show that uh, when we exclude some gene trees that with low bootstrap values, we got uh, the, the result will be like more consistent with the maximum uh, likelihood analysis. So here is the maximum uh, likelihood tree based on the concatenated amino acid data set. And uh, we, uh, the tree received maximum uh, likely uh, food trap support for nearly all the branches. And only two branches got the food trap value uh, below 95. And the average food trap value is near uh, 100%. Uh, I will tell you more details about the relationship later. And this is the maximum likelihood tree based on the first and second codon positions. And uh, also, it receives uh, very high bootstrap values for nearly all the branches. Uh, although some of the relationships are not consistent with the uh, protein tree. So here's the result uh, from the coalescent analysis. And generally speaking, the uh, branch support are relatively lower than the uh, maximum likelihood analysis. And it, it makes sense to us because we have many genes with very short alignment. So this gene tree got very, usually very low uh, bootstrap support values. So here's our result. Mm. Uh, among this three topology, uh, most of the, the relationship among some subfamilies are unstable, so means they are unresolved. But we do recover two large clades, uh, which are stable in completion. And also, the relationships within these two clades are generally uh, largely con consistent. And here is one large clade, and it comprises delta subline, neocolidini, and the um, Aphrodini tribe of part, uh, Partanini. And you can see uh, the local posterior possibility is very high. And the pie chart here shows, shows the uh, vortex support. In our uh, amino acid tree, uh, in, sorry, in our maximum likelihood trees, the, part, uh, the tribe part, Partanini is consistently sister to Neocolidini. And here's another large clade, and it comprises the tree hoppers and Eulopini, Mycophsiumini, uh, Urmalini, and the species of uh, Neopalini and the Signorakini. Uh, and also, you can see the tree hoppers grouped with Eulopini uh, and Mycophsiumini with uh, very high support. And this relationship is all, uh, was also recovered by Dietrich and Hu studies. And but uh, this three, the relationship among these three, three groups are unstable. So all our results uh, recovered uh, ten subfamilies as monophyletic, the, including the two largest subfamilies, Delphosphalini and Tiflosphalini, and also uh, Neocolidini, uh, Neonini, Ivaxini, uh, Colidini. Uh, Halicini, uh, uh, Signorakini, Mycophsiumini, and Eulopini. And also, there are four subfamilies. They should be monophyletic, but there's uh, some genera are misplaced uh, based on our results, uh, including Eurmalini, uh, if we exclude uh, my, uh, Microps the tribe uh, Micropsini and the uh, Austroagiodini and uh, Neobolini by excluding the genera uh, Chibella and Icini by excluding uh, Tatrobasis and the tribe uh, Barsinini and the subfamily 
uh, Farsi uh, Smatov Rini by including a tribe from uh, Agro uh, Afrodini. So here I will show you more results. And this is a clay uh, comprises four tribes of short wing leaf, uh, leaf hoppers. So as you can see, um, two of the tribes are currently belonging to Afrodini, and the, the other two tribes uh, belong to uh, Baisi Smotov Rini. And if you can see this tribe, um, Erhomarnini, uh, this, is, uh, this group is currently ranked as a sub, uh, was originally ranked as a subfamily, and it contains um, several genera. Uh, later, the Habitarian and Zach has narrowed the definition of this subfamily by including only the type genus. And they uh, move the other genera to the, the other two tribes of the uh, Baisi Smatophorini. And we, as you can see, the relationship of these three tribes are very, uh, the support are very high. And at the base of this clay, uh, there's another tribe from uh, Aphrodini, and which is also shopping, although the support value from the coalescent analysis is uh, moderate. So for Icini, there are two genera that are not grouped with the main clade. One is the uh, uh, by, by, by Somia. And this is the only genus of the tribe Bisomini. And um, but the position of this uh, genera is very um, unstable. And another is the genera uh, Probasis. And um, and uh, this species is, has not been placed in any tribe of uh, Icini. Here, uh, we recovered uh, Hydrobasis is sister to uh, Neopsis, which was, current, was currently uh, transferred from Eurmalini to Tarsini. And here is the result of Eurmalini. Uh, you can see the main plate is here, and uh, the support value is very high. But the tribe Macroxini, uh, the position is very unstable. And also, there's another tribe from Australia, and uh, Austral Agiodini. It's, con uh, if you can see clearly, it's here. And it's consistently sister to um, Chibala, a species of uh, Neobala, the subfamily uh, Neobalini. And we have. Uh, <coughs> Here are the more problematic uh, subfamilies, and all of them, them are non monophyletic. For uh, Aphrodini, there are the six tribes are placed in six clades. The branch is uh, marked with uh, blue, as you can see here. And for Lagrini, and most of the Latvini were grouped with Parthasini. However, there are two genera placed here. And for uh, Midwini, uh, they are consistently grouped with uh, Sigdalini. So here's the result of uh, Latvini. And most of the Latvini and Parthasini are placed in this clade. And this clade comprise, uh, comprises two subclades. The first subclade, um, is com uh, comprises two tribes of Tarsini, the Tarsini and the Neopsini, and also the tribe, uh, uh, the, the, the tribe of uh, Aphrodini and the species of uh, Icini. For another subclade, it contains all the six tribes of uh, Lagrini, and here you can see the uh, Af. Uh, Afrodini is sister to a species Afrodini, suggests so this species may be a special Latrini. And sorry. And the tribe uh, Afrodini is sister to uh, Latrini. And the other two tribes of Latrini is consistently grouped with uh, the other two tribes of Parsini. However, there are two genera from the tribe of um, Axoflonid, 
and they, it, it's consistent and not grouped with the monthly, as you can see the position is here. And here's the result of uh, Mimini and uh, Scudellini. So they all place in this large plate. And uh, there are three subplates. So the first subplate uh, comprises the Tripmidivini and uh, Tintaromini. Uh, although Tintaromini, the position of Tintaromini is uh, unstable. Uh, between the maximum likelihood uh, results and the coalescent results. So the second uh, subplate is uh, neonini, and the third, third case comprises uh, the other two types of miliwini and all the members of uh, cicadini. However, cicadini is non monophyletic and there's one genre, um, Nanetka, is sister to the tribe uh, a tribe of mini wine called uh, Makilin uh, Fini, which is, I think, is collected from the mountain we collected yesterday. So, uh, last, I want to briefly summarize our result. And most of the leaf hopper stuff families previously defined um, morphology and molecular suggesting these groups are well defined based on morphological characters. And also, uh, we tried different ways to increase the topology, uh, consistency, and branch support, and also it works. Uh, such as we increased the text examples and the molecular data, and also we tried to exclude the third column positions. It makes sense because the third column position uh, has a relatively accelerated uh, evolutionary rates. And also we excluded some gene trees that has very low uh, average branch support values. However, the deep phylogeny of cicadidae is consistently un largely unresolved, and it will could be difficult to resolve even using the whole genome data in the future. Uh, last, I would like to thank uh, our team and also the people may or may not be listed here who will uh, provide us materials or other uh, helps. Thank you for your attention.